Hey everybody, welcome back. So uh, it has been a minute since I did my last like paycheck routine. So I thought that we would do another one of those. Um, it's been like almost a month. No, I, actually like today is April 30th. So it may actually be like a month since I officially paid off my credit card. And so I have gotten paid twice since then. So I'm gonna catch y'all up to let y'all know what I did with that first paycheck and then also uh, what I did with my second paycheck as well, which I just got paid uh, a couple days ago. Um, if it looks like a little different, if I look brighter than usual, that is because it is raining terribly outside. It's really, really cloudy. And even though it is like 2.30 in the afternoon, it looks really dark outside. So I had to add in um, a light. And also if you hear thunder in the background, that is because it's like storming outside. Okay, so let's get into the video. So this is my first paycheck um, that I got in April. Uh, so this was like April 14th through the 27th. Um, as usual, my paycheck was $3,183.84. Um, that's about what it usually is. It fluctuates um, a little bit every month because my company pays me like, $50 a month as like a work from home stipend, which is supposed to cover like my internet and phone bill. It does not. It does cover my phone bill um, because my phone bill is like $25 a month, but it does not cover internet, which is a hundred. So, but I'm still grateful for that uh, $50. As usual, I had to like, I split my rent payment um, in half. So, Every time I get paid, I put like half of that towards rent. So that's 950. And then some big things, um, I tithed off of this paycheck. So that's $630. Um, Apple Fitness, I do the yearly subscription for that, which is $85.79. Um, don't ask me how many times I've used that throughout the year. Um, it has not been a lot, but uh, I think I've been talking about that in my like 12 week year videos about like goals that I have. So I do want to start using that more often and, you know, getting my money's worth. And um, the other things are like my monthly subscriptions, um, captions, Apple Music, Apple Storage. Then we had some big things. My family finally decided on a place to go for family vacation. We are going to Tampa uh, this summer. So I had to pay for my flight. My family, they're going to drive there and call me bougie, like whatever you want to call it. Do y'all hear that? I don't know if y'all can hear that or not, but that was thunder. Uh, sorry. So call me bougie, but I'm not trying to drive uh, to Tampa. That would be a lot of hours in the car, like more than eight. I don't even know, but it, it would be a lot. And I get motion sickness and I don't want to drive. Um, I don't want to drive my car, nor do I really want to be like in the car with my family just because like, you know, I can't control the music. Um, I would have to sit in the back, probably whichever car I'm in. And with my like motion sickness, it's worse when I sit in the back. And I'm just at that age where like, I will pay for convenience over being in the car for 10 plus hours. And then it's like eight of us with kids, with the kids, it's like eight of us. So, you know, stopping for like restroom breaks and stuff. I'm like, nah, nah. So I found a flight for $178.02. Uh, that is a budget airline though, which I've never done like a budget airline. I'm, I'm usually like flying Delta uh, with my Sky Miles card. So uh, this will be a different experience for me, but we'll see like if it's worth sticking with like the Delta um, flights or if I should start doing more of these budget flights. So I'm sure I will have uh, feedback and like a review for y'all in the upcoming months whenever I go on that trip. Next, um, how do you pronounce that? Cartagena, Cartagena in Colombia. <laughs> I'm going there uh, with that, with my line sisters. It's our 10 year anniversary trip. And I paid for the activities fee 
for all the like activities we're gonna be doing while we're there. Um, so that's not that's not even all of it actually, because I had to pay more in another paycheck. So that's two hundred and sixty-five dollars. And then I have a Marriott credit card. I don't think I told y'all about that, but I recently got a new credit card a few months ago. Um, couple couple months ago, I guess. The I got the Marriott Boundless Bond Boy card. I'll put up a picture of it um, when I'm editing the video. But that is not a free credit card. It does have an annual fee of $95. So I had to pay the $95 for that. And if you're interested, I can make a video about that card, the benefits of it and why I chose to get it. So if you're interested, let me know in the comments down below. Um, I did get paid by YouTube that month. So I got paid $114. Um, my LASIK, I had LASIK almost two years ago and I've been paying that off because I financed it at 0% interest for two years. So that's part of my monthly payments for that. And then Epidemic Sound is another subscription that I use for royalty free music that I can use in my YouTube videos. So this is the first month that I did not have, or the first paycheck that I did not have to put towards debt. And I had $907. Um, left over. So what did I do with that money? Um, I bought things. <laughs> uh, I know that like a lot of y'all are like, okay, so now that the credit card is done, you can like immediately get back into paying down, uh, pay, saving for my house. And I just, I just wanted like a small little like mental break of like going so hard to pay off the credit card. I was so happy and proud of myself that I paid it off in such a short period of time. And at the same time, um, it kind of reminded me of, if you saw the video that I made years ago where I paid off my car in one year, I just went like incredibly hard that year. I was so committed, so focused, like tunnel vision. Um, and it's just, while I did do it in a year's time, it was very hard on me mentally. It was hard on me socially. I didn't really have a social life that year. Um, and I paid it off and then like a few months later, COVID happened. So then I really didn't have like a social life. Um, and yeah, it was just, it was like a hard time. It was a hard year for me. And I don't ever want to go that hard for that long ever again um so and because like if, if you've been following me for a long time then you know that when i paid off the car i was so relieved that i could like use money again that i ended up like going into credit card debt and i had to pay off that credit card debt from a long time ago so it kind of i don't know how to explain it but like it was a good thing that I paid off the card, but I deprived myself so much that I ended up like hurting myself financially because I put myself back into debt that I then had to pay off. And so I don't want to do that again. I don't want to repeat the same mistakes of depriving myself for so long. And then I like overdo it when I finally get a chance to spend again. So I was like, okay, you did good. You did really, really good for three months. You can take it easy and just like live a little bit um, before we start up a new financial goal. So with that $907, um, a lot of that went towards food and not even eating out, but just like grocery shopping. Inflation is real, y'all. Like inflation is real. But then also you'll see in some upcoming videos, I got a juicer, which I am loving. And so I've been juicing a lot and um, I, I have to buy like a lot more produce to, to do that. Um, so yeah, I've just been buying like a whole bunch of healthy foods. Like I shop at Trader Joe's and Trader Joe's is actually like pretty affordable. But every time I go there, I spend like a hundred dollars. So a lot of that money went towards like just regular life things like groceries and um, like household supplies and, and stuff like that. Um, I did do a little bit of shopping. I got like 
two shirts. <laughs> um, where where else? See, I don't I don't really know because I that is one thing. Um, I can't tell you where all of that money went because I wasn't tracking it the way that I have been tracking like other paychecks. So that's like one downside <laughs> to it. Um, but I think I still think it's okay because you know, just like giving myself a little bit of a break before going into these goals that I have. So this is the, that first paycheck. So let's go into my second paycheck from April, which just happened like on Friday and today's Sunday. So my second paycheck, I, ooh, let me, this is wrong up here. Six, six. Okay, so with my second paycheck in April, I got a paycheck for $3,151.66. So what are some things that I've, that money like is pretty much gone already? Uh, so let me explain. First, um, I did put money towards savings, um, but not saving for the house, saving for when I go to Chicago in July with my sister, we're going to see Beyonce, which I'm so excited about. Um, but I wanted to put more savings towards that um, as like money, like fun money when I'm there. Um, recently, me and my brother went to Seattle because I had to go there for work. And then I like extended my trip for that weekend so that like me and him could explore the city. And we took like Lyfts and Ubers the whole weekend they're expensive. <laughs> They're like really expensive. Thankfully, work reimbursed almost all of the Lyfts and Ubers, but they had to reimburse me for like over $400 for Lyfts and Ubers. And that is a lot. And then it made me think of like when me and my sister go to Chicago, like we'll probably be doing the same thing. Um, you know, we'll walk where like it's reasonable, but if it's not, or like if we feel uncomfortable for whatever reason walking around, then we'll probably get a lift. And it, like, it just, it really does add up, especially like when you're tipping people as well. So, um, wanted to just put money like in the future thinking about, um, all the things that we'll spend. I'm not a big like shopper, so I don't think that I'll buy anything. Um, I have started buying like creative postcards when I go to different places, postcards and like refrigerator mag, back, <laughs> can't talk, sorry, postcards and refrigerator magnets that I can like put on my refrigerator. So then I'm like, oh yeah, I went there. I went there. So I'll probably get that. But outside of that, I probably won't do any shopping and the money that we spend will probably be spent on like food, travel, like transportation and maybe like a couple experiences. Uh, but yeah, just putting money towards that so that when July hits, I don't have to like spend a big portion of that paycheck funding that trip. Especially y'all, like I literally have like three trips back to back. We're going, I'm going to Chicago with my sister, then me and my family are going to Tampa like the week after that. And then two weeks after that, I'm going to Columbia with my lot sister. So it's literally like a month of traveling, which can be hard on one's budgeting and personal finance goals. So bear with me. Wish me good luck on all that. Uh, the next big thing was again, talking about the trip with my line sisters. I had to buy my flight and this was the most expensive flight I've ever purchased um, for $1,000, $1,077.77. That is a lot of money. And like, I, I don't know, like I, is that normal? This is my first time ever buying uh, like an international flight. So I don't know if that's normal, normal or not. Um, I think I could have gotten a cheaper flight if I chose to drive further away. Um, and by cheaper, I mean like a hundred or two dollars cheaper. Um, but I decided to not do that because again, I'm willing to pay more for convenience. I think my battery is going to die. Hold on. Okay. We're back. 
I don't know how long uh, this battery will last, so let me hurry up. But yeah, I'd rather pay for convenience. Um, so I opted to fly out of a closer airport um, that will make me be able to come home quicker instead of driving like the hour and a half one way uh, to the airport when I leave and then when I get back. And I would get back late at night, so like it's just, it's just a lot easier. So I opted to spend a little bit more on the flight. And then also I had to pay the remaining amount for my activities fee. And then also we we're doing like monthly payments for the resort itself. So I had to pay $85 for that. Um, and those are the main things I had to do with this paycheck. Also like paying rent, of course. And that left me with $541.25 left over. My battery's about to die, so I gotta speed this up. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Leave a thumbs up, leave some comments down below, and I'll see you next time. Bye.